Hi. So, I got COVID. Uh, I have to say, it's not, it's not that cool. It's not very fun. Um, I also, uh, because I have inflammatory bowel disease, um, I have to take an immunosuppressant. And wouldn't you know it, the day before I contracted it, I took that immunosuppressant. So I essentially, you know, like, went out into a dark alleyway, and, uh, you know, I was, COVID was there, and I said, hold on, let me pull my pants down and spread my cheeks, you know, metaphorically, of course. And uh, it got me. It just, you know, who'd have guessed that, that, you know. So it was like, you know, a couple of my friends got it too, and uh, I guess they got better a little quicker than, than I did. It took me a while. But I'm back, and I wanted to cook some real food, not some bullshit, like, I had, like, nothing left. I wasn't allowed to go to the store. I, you know, what am I supposed to do? So I was eating the garbage. I was eating out of the garbage can, essentially. You know, might as well have been. So I wanted to make some good food, some good, like, makes me feel good after I eat it food type stuff. This, what this does is a good, you should try and make it yourself. Watch the video. Uh, to go. So anyways, I just like dump like an amount in there. Like probably like that many. You know? And now granted, I'm not like, you know, Chef Gordon Ramsay over here or anything, but you know, you, you get some water in there, you get just an amount, like maybe like that much, right? Like, you see what I'm saying? Like that much, comparatively to the rice, like that's what it is, looks like. Um, and we're gonna put that on the, on the back burner. Is that where that saying comes from? So the, the next thing I do, before I get my fingers all chickeny, you get uh, whatever. I'm gonna need a couple pans. Right? Maybe you know what? We just need the one. We're gonna do the. We're gonna just do the one pan. You get. get I get like the biggest pan at the store. That's what that is. What? Oh, I turned on the wrong burner. The first step after that one. So the second step is you want to fry up some goddamn eggs. So you're gonna need some ingredients. You're gonna need your almost empty egg carton. You're gonna need a full egg carton because two's not enough. You're gonna need some butter and you're gonna put the butter in there. And then what you want to do is put like too much butter in there and then realize, realize it and then take, come on, you take that amount and you put it back. And no one will ever know it'll be our secret and then here's like a little life hack like like i said you know i only got the two in here left so this carton is going to get thrown out so what i like to do when i have that situation is you crack the eggs and you put all the dang shells in here and then when you throw this out you're throwing away all the shells too it's like a two in one it's like a deal special two for one mommy yeah, once you get like enough butter melted that's gonna give you like a heart attack, you take your eggs and you, 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 you get like that and you take your spatula. Oh dude, this is a silicone spatula. It's a little wet because it you know it just came out of the dishwasher. But this, it, dude, nothing sticks to it, like ever. You you get done with it, you run water on it under the sink, everything just comes off immediately. It's awesome. You get this many eggs and you just stir them up like a soup, you know? Um that's how I do it. Remember I said the egg thing? That's that's that. And then here's another cool tip. Take out of the right side as many as you do the left side. And then the weight's in the middle and then you don't pick it up and drop all the eggs on the floor like I did that one time. <clears throat> He's getting like that. You want the brown on the outside. You want the other colors on the inside. It's getting there, it's getting there. See that? Here's this little cool little secret. You blow on it. Bye-bye. Anyways, at, at this point, you can just 
I'll, I need this pan to cook more other things. But what I'll do is dump this into there since that rice is, is I should probably turn this off actually. And we'll figure, we'll do, you'll know later why. So anyways, I like to start with this. Uh, you know, you just put some in there. Not a whole lot, you want some. This is gonna seem like a lot, but it's because that's enough for that and, and that, and I didn't even chop those up yet, but that's going in there too. But that's enough for all of that. That's all you need is like that much. So you get that. Uh, we'll do the sesame oil next. I like to just put a little bit, like that much. It just gives it a little hint of the, of the sesame. Um, get some Worcestershire sauce. Now this stuff, it'll either make your food taste better because you put the right amount in, or you put too much in and it overpowers it. It makes it taste like yucky stinko. So just, you know, do like, like that much for like, for like that much food, do like that much. Uh, the soy sauce, you know, honestly, this whole thing's going in. I'll just, just keep, just keep, just, just, keep on putting even more of it in there because I like it. Can't forget about the lemon juice. This also, this, don't put too much of this either. Because then guess what? Everything just tastes like lemon and you, that's not what you want. You want this to do its job and make the meat tender, but you don't really want to taste it. So you just put like that, that's good, that much. All right, then the garlic. Now the thing with garlic is it tastes really mighty good, but it also tastes mighty strong. So you don't want to overpower. Again, this amount of garlic for like all that amount of food, right? Put that in there. And then this is, uh, you know, chopped up onions. You know, you can buy fresh onions. I'm lazy with that stuff, you know, just put like, that many in, I don't know. Uh, this, you know, the green stuff. This does have taste, but like it gets drowned out by everything else. That's the, the basil and then the oregano. The stuff that high school kids sell to each other and say it'll get you high. Um, the thing with uh, the salt is that the soy sauce has a very strong salty flavor. So I do still like to put some salt in it, but you know, and again, that's for all all of the food. You're making a good amount of food. Pepper, you know, just like, I don't know, like that much. For the love of heaven, the sky is yelling at me. Oh, and then your power goes out. Oh, but it's back, don't worry. So then you get your chicken in there and I just have the heat. It's a, like a medium temperature, like a little, you know, almost like, um, just get this in there, spread out around, and you just keep it on that heat. We're not trying to cook it very fast, because remember, we gotta still chop up that, that, those boys. Um, that's gonna take a minute, so you just, you know, get this in there, mix it up a little bit, get the stuff going, and then uh, we're gonna do the classic move of uh, figure out where the lid is, turn the lid on. But it cooks slowly because that's what chicken likes to do is to cook slowly see that that's called cooking slowly so that's looking like that you know you get that you get that you put it in there you get the that you put it in the there and uh you know you get something that looks kind of like that yeah you can take this shit too and just like you know give it like a what get out of there Get out of there! Oh, there it goes. Most of it. And you know, you just, you know, and this is why you get the big pot. Remember, remember when I said it was gonna turn out to be a lot of food? That's how, that's the, that's the deepness of that. Hand for comparison. I don't wanna get my hand too close cause I'll burn it. You know, it's a good like three and a half fingers deep. And uh, you know, that's like, I don't know, a little over a foot wide. Um, 
Remember I said soy sauce? Guess what we're gonna do? Sauce, sauce, sauce it up. Sauce that sauce and sauce it up. <clears throat> Sing that song and then that's how you know how long to put the soy sauce in for. And yeah, like the heat's still right there. We can turn it up a little bit, you know. Sometimes you gotta put a little bit of pressure on the chicken to cook a little faster. Um, and that's okay. Um, we gotta wait for that. And you know, I said that I said that I got COVID, and I didn't do like some things. There's something else I didn't do. And uh, this one's pretty good. What's that? Is that uh, what's that say? I don't know what the fuck that nautical university. You want to learn how to fucking fly a boat? You get that. And then uh, you get this uh, bottle of stuff here that Eric gave me. He was in the motorcycle video. Uh, he said it costs like $7, I think. Um, it's not good. It's not good. But I'm getting, you know, I'm still gonna have some. Yeah, you just pop the top on that boy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get. I need a chaser. And what better to chase some shitty brandy than with a delicious zero calorie sodi pop of an unspecified brand name? You didn't see that. So we're gonna, you know, we're gonna just go for it. Don't, don't buy this. It does not taste good. All right. Uh, I'll lean down a little bit so you can see. I'm on my knees for you. I'm going to drink this because I hate it. That's not a good reason, but I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. That tastes like... Uh, like, when I was a kid, I'd go play in, like, the barns or whatever. Like, I think my friend had barns on his property. And, uh, the hay and stuff would just sit, and, like, there's, like, a dead animal under it. And then, like, you get, like, that smell of, like, old hay. Like, old, like, musky hay with a dead animal under it. Um, that smell is how this tastes. Uh, it's not very good at all, but we're going to go for another one because I don't know. Uh, like I said, I, I just, I'm gonna, that's the reason why I don't, I don't need to explain myself further than that. Oh, I don't want to, but it's, I, I, it's, <laughs> that's so bad. But you know what they say, two's company, three's company, no, three's the, three's company's the show, two for the money, ready, set, go. So that's my review of this. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, don't buy this. Oh, let's see what's going on with this guy. Oh, that's looking pretty good. Let's stir it up a little. Get the chicken. See the chicken right there? It's cooking. It's cooking now, buddy. It's cooking now, buddy. Oh, that. It doesn't show up on the camera really good, but that's like very more brown than this. I mean, it kind of shows up, but you gotta you gotta flip it around, and the broccoli's turning on real green. It's just getting all that. Well, uh, sorry, I'm still st st alcohol is bad still. Um, but it gets all the liquidification, and mommy, and then it, and then it becomes. Eatable. 
broccoli that's nicer to eat. So you, guys, you know, just stir it up. It'll roughly uh, look kind of like that. And throw the lid back on. I like to let it kind of marinate in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the heat a little bit and uh, just sit there. You know, I don't know what time it is anymore because the power went out, but it's probably like, I don't know. We'll just call it uh, 6.56. But just let, let it let it just let it just let it sit for a little bit, and then we'll come back and maybe like a little half hour. Just when you thought he couldn't do it again, wouldn't do it again. Hey folks, it's me, your boy. I'm back at it for another uh, seven dollar bottle of brandy review. Cause uh, what's like a good like thing that has a number four in it? Um, this one is for you. Cheers. God, I still taste it. But you know what? They say that, uh, you know how, like, sometimes, like, do you remember that one? Remember Viva La Bam? Remember that show on MTV whenever I was in middle school? Well, they did like the sequel show. It was like when Bam was getting married. It was called like Bam's Dang On Marriage or something like that. I remember in that one, his friend was doing a little skateboardy trick and he uh, did a bad fall where he hurt a lot himself and basically he had to go to the hospital and the moral of the story is his leg was broken but they came out of the hospital and then he said hang on my other leg hurts so they went back in it turns out he couldn't feel the pain of the first leg because the pain of the second leg the first the, he couldn't feel the second leg and the pain of the first leg it was, uh, it was, it was, uh, too much. It drowned out the pain of the second one. So we're gonna do this one to drown out the yuck of the first one. The fourth, the fourth one. This is five, I think. Anyways, that's what that story was for. And now I'll do the... Don't buy this. Ugh. My mom bought me this for Christmas. You're supposed to fill it with uh, whiskey. And I don't have none, so I did. And I stopped buying alcohol because it's bad for you. And I don't want to drink it all the time because it's fun. And I'll drink it too much because it's fun, so I don't buy it. But if I did... There'd be whiskey in this. I don't know if I did ever show you this, but I got this guy. Um, I thought it was funny. Did you ever get a, one of those make your house smell good things like that? Where it, like you set it to every 30 minutes or something. It shoots a little out and it makes it, it smells nice. <laughs> one time I watched Howard the Duck and I saw this poster on his wall in his duck apartment. I was, that's pretty funny. I wonder if, ow, I wonder if that's on a, a, a Amazon or something. And then I found it. So I got it. It was like 15 bucks. I'd say, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's, and then, uh, I did not even expect it, but wouldn't you know, they sent me this. It's the, the, it's the, it's the fucking movie theater sign man, but in Spanish. I don't know what that says. I don't speak Spanish. Well, I know what that says. This is George Lucas, but I don't know what the rest. There's steam coming out of this boy, let me tell you. That's probably cooked by now. So what you, here's, you wanna know a secret about cooking a chicken? You wanna know, here's a secret. 
you say off, you say on, you say 7.05 o'clock, I'll come back in about a half an hour. Shit. Uh, the thing about meat that I learned with cooking is that you... Meat likes to rest. So when you're done cooking it, you let it sit. Are you listening? You let it sit for about a half an hour. And it, it allows the chicken to get all the stuff in it more that uh, it makes it more nicer. And when you eat it, when you eat chewing with your mouth teeth, it makes it better for that. So that's all cheers to that. And at this point, you know, what's left in there? Another one? Seven? The seventh? Seventh? Seventh Heaven? There was a show called Seventh Heaven on the Disney Channel. It was a thing. It was a thing. I remember. I don't remember what the show is about. There was a show called So Weird Thing. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's what it was called. And it, uh, it's, get out of here, I don't want like you. It scared the shit out of me. I was like fucking five or something. I don't know. And they're like, there's this episode of it. But the fucking ghost has a fucking skeleton face. And they're like, oh, Christian's gonna watch that. He's five years old. Why don't we fucking put a skeleton face? That'll scare the shit out of him. And here's the fucker part of all of it. Is, uh... From where my bed was, I had a view of the closet. And... The, the, I don't know why the closet door is always open. But there's a fucking... There's a Mickey Mouse sticker in there. And when the lights were off, my brain tricked me into thinking that uh, it was a dang ghost sitting in the closet, wiggling around, doing ghost stuff. I don't, it scared the fuck out of me, what can I say, you know? But then, I told my dad, and he said, it's just a dang sticker. It can't, it's not. Hey, it's not gonna get you. <laughs> you know what he did? He took that sticker off the wall. No cheers to that. And uh. That's, uh, just some more of that story, I guess. So listen to me, you take my advice. If you drink old bottles, $7. Hey, it's Monday today. I should not have done this. This was a mistake. I have to go to work tomorrow. So here's the thing about this, here's, hey, here's the thing about making food whenever, hey, here's the thing about that, here's the thing about that, you know that, remember, hey, remember I said about a half, remember my mom, I said about a half hour, that's about as many that you leave that to go for, that's about how many you leave that, hey, 
But anyway, this video is dog polish. Shit enough. What fucking goddamn it. Don't, don't, don't. Don't try to do this when you're drunk. So that's what will happen to you. You can't even conceive the possibility of cleaning it. Anyways, I'm too drunk to keep recording, so you know, that's what they say. That's what they say. Here's this. This is a waste. You know, it's. Whatever it was. E and J, I don't fucking know. That's still on the floor. That's still on the floor. That's... Hey, look at that. Why don't you even... That's the thing that sucks. The broccoli is my f five-year part. <laughs>